welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the freshman 15. Now, school is back in session um, and there's so many people going to college for the first time and I don't want you guys to be like me and game the freshman 50. Yes, not 15, 50. That's what I did and yeah, it wasn't great. Um, finally got it off, but yeah. So I want to come to you guys today and give you my top five suggestions on how to avoid the freshman 15. Stay active. Whatever you do, stay as active as you possibly can. Um, and that includes walking to all your classes or taking a bike, um, making use of your school gym. Every school that I know of has a gym and you pay for it in your Twitch. Try to go to the gym as often as you can, especially if you already are active. Make sure you stay active and so that you don't just get comfortable not working out. So work out. Um, if working out, like going to the gym, is not your thing, try to do something more fun. Try to find a sport that you love. It could be volleyball, it could be football, it can be um, bowling, soccer, whatever. Most schools have an intramural sports team and you can join in on those. It's a way for you to keep your body active. Drink lots of water. I can't say that enough. I said it to everybody now. Drink water. Drink water, drink water, drink water. It helps to keep your um, your system flushed of all, of all of the toxins and stuff. It also helps to keep your skin clear. So drink as much water as you can. Walk around with a water bottle that you can refill, um, maybe like the filter kind. And just make sure you're trying to, um, every day you're trying to get at least half your weight to drink at least half your weight in water. It helps you make sure you stay hydrated and it's a good way to keep your body healthy. Eating a salad, especially if you have the meal plan for your school and you go to like the cafeteria or the um, dining hall and you're having all these different options, go to the salad bar. Get you a salad first, fill up on you some greens and then go back and have you something else. Try to avoid the dessert table at least um, most of the week. I'm not gonna say don't live your life because you're gonna wanna eat some dessert, you're paying for it, but don't go there every meal or every day. Try to limit it to like once or twice a week. Um, but yeah, definitely eat that salad first. It kinda will fill you up. Or um, also drinking a glass of water will fill you up before a meal too. Not really fill you up, but put something in your stomach so that you are not just going to be eating, 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 especially if you don't go for the healthier options. So that would be something that I would recommend. And also, if you're a freshman trying to avoid the freshman 15, you're probably not of age to drink, but you're probably going to drink. And I can't judge you because I drunk too, but limit it. Alcohol has so many empty calories, it's ridiculous, especially mixed drinks. So if you're going to the club and you're having like three or four drinks, you know how much calories you're putting out from them drinks, and then you're like, well, I'm commenting with on the dancing I'm doing, not really. Because usually, after you go to the club, you go out to eat afterwards, and that leads me to my next tip. Avoid late night snacking and eating. Especially, especially, I know when we came from the club, first thing we did was go to the pizza joint or go to like Wendy's or Taco Bell, or whatever was open, and I would get all this fast food and go to sleep within like 20 minutes. Think about it, are you really hungry? And is it going to kill you not to eat because you know you're about to go to sleep within the next hour because you're more than likely heading home? If you do go to a pizza joint or whatever, um, try to maybe split the pizza with somebody. You don't have to have necessary for you to eat that full slice or both of those slices. Split it. Do you need the pizza and the garlic knots? This is my own experience. I have pizza, garlic knots. Um, so yeah, just try to limit that late night eating, especially after the club. 
Um, and if you do go to a fast food restaurant, see if you can pick more of a healthier option. Maybe just get that sandwich instead of getting sandwich and fries. Or look to see if they have wraps. You know, just try to make healthier decisions. With the late night snacking, you're going to have your late nights. It's, it's college. It's going to happen. Try to avoid snacking on junk food. Go grocery shopping and make sure in your house that you have healthier snacks, that you have nuts like almonds and walnuts and pistachios, um, fruit, try to have fruit with a little less sugar, uh, like strawberries and apples and stuff. Apples give you energy and keep you full. So if you're late night studying or whatever, an apple is a really good thing to eat because it has fiber in it and it also will give you energy. So you don't have to have that energy shot or whatever. You can just eat your nice little apple and you'll be good to go for a couple more hours. Just a tip for late night studying. Um, but yeah, try to make sure what's in your house and what's in your dorm room are healthy. Don't bring junk into your dorm room. Don't bring junk into your house. That's how you get suckered into eating it because that's what's there. A lot of college students, especially if you live in dorms, you might not have time to food prep. So you will just reach for whatever is there, maybe the vending machine. But if you can have little snacks, a little healthier snacks that you can snack on, guarantee that will help you save on some of those pounds that you will probably gain. Uh, I'm not saying all these tips will cause you to avoid gaining any weight, but I think it will help you to limit the amount of weight that you gain and to really um, be conscious of it. Definitely pay attention to how your clothes are fitting because I guarantee you most people, it doesn't hit them until like the next semester, how much weight they gain or when they go home. People are like, oh wow, you've been eating well. You don't want that. It happens. People notice their weight gain. And I would just say, if you are a freshman, enjoy it, embrace it. College is an experience. You can never get back after your first time going. Um, and you want to have fun, but you can have fun and be healthy. I wish I was healthy when I was in college, but I wasn't. Oh, oh, one last thing. Free food. There's tons of free food. Oh my god. The amount of free food you get in college is insane. And usually it's pizza. I think colleges are out to make you obese. So make sure you try to avoid those free pizzas and the free ice creams and all the free junk they're giving away. We had like four subways on campus but there was always free pizza. Like seriously? You couldn't give me a, tu a turkey sandwich? You had to get me like meat lovers pizza, <sighs> but whatever. <laughs> but yeah, try to avoid the pizza, the free free pizza all the time. Get one slice. If you're going to get some, get one slice and keep it moving. Because like I said, there will be more probably next week somewhere or the following week. There's always free food. You can't really starve in college. I don't know how people think you can because in my college, there was always free food. So yeah, just enjoy college. Try to focus on your studies and remember what you're there for. Do not um, lose your path. Don't let the partying and whatever get to you. You're there for your degree. Make sure you get that. And take care of yourself. Remember my tips? There are about five, six, or seven. I can't remember. I lost count. I know I said five, but... They all came to me as time was going. I hope these tips can really help you. And if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to leave them below. Or you can email me. And I just want to say please subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.